Welcome back to Fox 10 News at 4. You are invited to join a mission that brings awareness to suicide prevention. It's the Out of the Darkness Walk. It is coming up. Mark your calendar, October 20th. So we have Lydia Barber. Uh, she's a coordinator of this walk. It's in Daphne. She's in the studio to talk more about it. I remember my first time right. coming to the walk. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you guys held this? This is the ninth year we've actually mm -hmm. had this walk right in front of Daphne City Hall. Yeah. And um, it's um, it's getting bigger and bigger every year. Mm -hmm. it, more people are, are, are talking about suicide awareness and prevention. Right. And on that note, it is getting bigger. Do you think it's mm -hmm. because people are more comfortable talking about it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. When I'm it started when I lost my son mm -hmm. nine years ago. Well, it'll be nine years ago this um, month. Mm -hmm. A friend of mine lost her son and another friend of mine lost her mm -hmm. sister. Mm -hmm. So we brought it to Daphne and it was not talked about very mm -hmm. much at all. No. But we are astounded by how that is changing mm -hmm. and it's really truly changing. So that's a good thing. Do you think it's reflective of the amount of people in need of help or mm -hmm. is it just a matter of, of knowing, look, mm -hmm. we've got to talk about this to work it through together? I think it's a little bit of both. Yeah. Um, by all means, um, things are getting more difficult. Social media just makes it harder mm -hmm. for kids, but even adults. Um, but um, we have to understand and let them know, hence the name of this, out of the darkness, mm -hmm. so that they can come out of the darkness and get the help that they need and support if you have lost a loved one. Yeah, and it shouldn't be a stigma. No, it should not be a stigma. Mm -hmm. Stop the stigma is huge, and um, that's a big big part of it too. All right, so this is going to be yes. right there in downtown Daphne. Right. It kicks off at City Hall. It a lot does. of you have things going on we too. We do. We do. It starts at one o'clock with mm -hmm. registration and then beginning at 1 30 we're going to have um, speakers. We have local music. Mm -hmm. We have vendors. We have lots of resource yeah. tables at least 12 to 13. Um, we do have a registration table but we would love for you to pre-register okay. on AFSP.org slash Daphne mm -hmm. and if you raise $150 before you come to the walk that day, you get the shirt. All right. It's navy blue this year. <laughs> really quickly, before yes, we run out of time here, mm -hmm. if someone's watching right now, right, and they're struggling, mm -hmm. but they don't think anyone's listening or will listen. They will listen. Mm -hmm. There's a, lots of things you can do. Number one, you have to talk to somebody about yeah. it. Um, everybody cares about you. Um, if you don't want to right away talk to somebody you know, get on 1-800-273-8255, the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, mm -hmm. or Crisis Text Line, which is home to 741741. Mm -hmm. There are lots of resources out there that they can use, but everybody does care about you. Mm -hmm. And we... Um, we want to help you. Everybody wants to help you. Yeah, that's a that's a great way to end it. I wish we could mm -hmm. talk more about this. I thank you for stopping by. Thank you for having me. And for having this event. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we'll have this interview posted on our YouTube page shortly, so look for it and be sure to subscribe. And go on out Please if you do. can to that walk. Thank you again. Thank you.